So let me so let me introduce the final speaker in the afternoon session. The speaker is Professor Ryo Fujita from Remus Kyoto University. And the title of his talk is Isomorphisms Among Quantum Graphic Rings and Their Applications. So please. Uh, uh, now it's okay. So, so let me uh, have a, 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 one comment for uh, Okado Sensei. So, so when I started uh, studying uh, the the study of representation theory of quantum affine algebra, I uh, <laughs> at first I uh, try I try to search the word quantum affine algebra on the Google. So uh, in Japanese, Yoshi Afan Daisu. Then the Google suggests me to read uh, an expository uh, article uh, written in Japanese by Okado Sensei. So I read it and uh, I learned much about uh, the quantum affine algebras and uh, the importance of uh, kirillov lichet -Hin module. So, so my research on quantum algebra started with uh, Okado Sensei's article actually. And uh, so today I'm really happy to uh, speak uh, about my recent joint work with, uh, joint work with uh, David Hernandez. And uh, uh, Sejin Oh. And uh, Hyona Yoya. And at this uh, conference celebrating with Professor Okado's uh, sixth uh, birthday. And uh, in this work, actually, Kilofer HT modules plays a very important role. So let me start with uh, setup. So let uh, G be a simple complex real algebra, uh, finite dimensional. And as well known, uh, this is uh, classified by the so-called Dintin diagram or Coxeta graph of type 8G. And uh, associated to this simple algebra, we consider the quantum loop group uh, denoted by UKLG. And this is a, a quantum group associated with the uh, uh, loop real algebras. So, so and, and we consider this Uh, with a uh, quantum parameter Q. And in this talk, this is a generic quantum parameter. Okay, and we are interested in the finite dimensional representation of this uh, Hopper algebra. Of, uh, strictly speaking, we only consider the type one representations. Then this uh, forms a category very interesting uh, monoidal category. So this is actually a rigid monoidal category. And here, uh, the term rigid means that there exists a duality. So, so we have a functor here, well, auto equivalence D uh, plus minus, and the plus minus respectively it will correspond to the taking left dual or right dual. And the, so in, in the case of a quantum group of semi-simple Lie algebra, uh, sorry. Uh, the left dual and the right dual, dual uh, coincide, but in this uh, quantum group setting, uh, it is important to distinguish them. 
So actually, the square of uh, duality functor is not equal to identity. Okay, and uh, yes. And uh, so in this talk, I would like to talk about the quantum Grotan decreeing of this uh, monoidal category. But first, uh, before starting quantum Grotan decreeing, let me uh, recall uh, something about the usual Grotan decree. Grotan decreeing is just a, a Grotan decree group of this abelian category with the product uh, given by the tensor product. Yes. So this is Grotan decreeing. And uh, so we, we want to analyze this ring. And there exists a uh, uh, so called Q character. So Q character is uh, given by just the spectral decomposition of modules with respect to the commutative ring. Uh, which corresponding to which correspond to the loop curtain part. So here we have a large commutative subalgebra uh, correspond to the loop curtain. So and this uh, spectral decomposition gives a uh, Q character and the, which varies at uh, the link y of low lamp polynomials in some variables y uh, labeled by i and a. And here I is a node of the graph. So this is a, a coxeter node. And A is a non zero complex number, which is uh, called, usually called the spectral panel. And this map uh, considered by a friend that I'm related to him. Is a ring homorphism and they prove that this is actually an injective map. So, so in particular, this means that uh, because this is just a ring of roller polynomials, this this ring growth and ring is commutative. This is not a uh, not obvious from the definition of this uh, category C. And actually this uh, Q character also uh, used to parameterize the simple representations in this category. So let's uh, consider the a class of simple irreducible objects, simple representations in this category. Then uh, via this uh, Q character map, we have a one-to-one -one correspondence uh, with the set uh, of monomials in these variables y, i, h. And uh, so this, this bijection is essentially due to Charlie Presley. So they use the terminology of Dreyfus polynomials, but we can state it in this way. Uh, And so, so this one-to-one -one correspondence is given. So that the, the corresponding, so, so here we have uh, N monomial M, then the, I, I, I will write the corresponding representation by LM. Then this uh, simple representation has two characters starting from M and the other terms are lower than this M. So this, this monomials uh, correspond to the highest weight, but uh, in, this, in, in this case, the L highest weight, L, L stands for the loop. Then the fundamental problem Is of course to compute this uh, Q character of simple representations. But unfortunately, uh, at this moment, uh, 
there's no known uh, formula. Well, no known closed formula. To compute this uh, simple two characters. So to remedy this uh, situation, so we it is natural to consider the casualistic type approach. So as in the case of usual uh, casual listing conjecture in the uh, for the BGT category, so we, we first consider the deformation of rotundic group or in this case rotundic ring and uh, define the basis, standard basis. And uh, using this standard basis, we define the canonical basis. Then this canonical basis gives a uh, candidate to compute this uh, simple two characters and uh, so 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 anyway so let, let me explain uh, yeah yes I use here so now let me introduce the notion of quantum and ring. So this is first uh, introduced by Nakajima Sensei and the uh, Banyo Basaho. Uh, when our real algebra G is simply less type, so when G is ADE. After that, and then this. Uh, give a definition for general uh, G, including you no know, no simple rest types. And here I present uh, the explanation uh, following the end on this. So, so recall that uh, our rotundic ring uh, is embedded into a ring of Roland polynomials. So it is actually isomorphic to the image of character homomorphism. Then Prentel Lechetihin gave a description of this image of two character map, and it is actually given by a joint kernel of a certain operator called the screening operator. So it is defined like just like a, a W algebra. Uh, and this is in, inside the commutative ring of Roland polynomials. So first we consider the deformation of this Roland polynomial ring. So we deformed it uh, with certain quantum parameter T. We deform it to be a quantum torus. So this is an algebra, non-commutative algebra defined over the ring of Roland polynomials in T. And inside uh, this algebra, we, con we can also consider the deformation of screening operator. So we consider the joint uh, kernel of certain deformed screening operators. And we define the quantum Grotandic ring to be this joint kernel. This is definition. So, and, and this is this is actually a subalgebra. And we have a specialization map. And under this specialization map, it goes to this quantum gluton. Uh, this, this goes to the usual gluton decreasing. So, it actually gives a deformation or quantization. And inside this quantum Grotan ring, we can define the uh, standard basis. So that in this context, the standard module is given by the pro certain 
uh, ordered tensor product of fundamental modules. So, so inside this quantum gluten big ring, we have a uh, basis uh, for the standard one, MT. So standard basis is, is given by certain order tensor product of uh, something called FT with, with here some multiplicity. And this FTM is uh, defined by a certain algorithm. And this, this actually computer Qt act of fundamental representation. Fundamental representation is a simple representation corresponding to a single variable. Yeah. And so 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 this this is this is uh computable. And using this standard basis uh, by using as an elastic type algorithm, we can define the uh, canonical basis. Uh, so th this is computed uh, uh, from standard one. Uh, but there are some inductive algorithms. Okay. And uh, th this should be uh, considered as a T analog of two characters or a QT character uh, or, or maybe simple QT characters. But a priori, it is not obvious uh, that this uh, QT character actually gives a uh, genuine two characters after specialization. But in the case of type AD, simply less type, uh, Nakajima and Banyu Basel actually proved that it gives a simple two character. So, so let G be type ADE. Then we have the following properties regarding concerning the simple two, simple two D characters. So, so if we specialize this uh, each element in this canonical basis, then it gives a simple two character. So in this way, we get the algorithm to compute simple two character. So sorry, simple two characters in the case of type AD. And also, this canonical basis. Uh, enjoy some positivity properties. The first, put, so there, there are two positivity properties. And the first positivity property is the following. So each uh, element, each member of the basis is actually an element in this quantum torus. So it makes sense that it has a non-negative coefficient. So, and actually, this is true for any M in the case of the PG. This is first positivity. And the second positivity is that, uh, so because, because uh, quantum Gluton link is a link with this basis, so it makes sense that this basis has a non negative uh, structure constant. Okay. And, uh, these uh, three properties 
were actually proved by using some geometric technique. So in the case of type ADE, we have some uh, geometric realization. of uh, quantum growth and weak link by using some pervasive zone fiber varieties. So, but the, but the fiber varieties uh, were defined only for type ADE, at least to, uh, 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 at this moment. So we, we cannot apply this, the same method to the case of type BCFG. So, so but we, we, we can still uh, define, at least define the chemical basis. And actually, Hernandez conjectured that uh, these three, three properties, uh, casualistic, analog of casualistic conjecture and uh, two positivities are also true uh, for uh, the other type. BCFG type uh, simply algebra. And uh, uh, the main result uh, of our project is a partial answer to this uh, conjecture. So, so now I, I state the main results. So the first main result is the about positivities. So the two positivity P1 and P2, actually uh, this is uh, holds true uh, for general G. And uh, for the casualistic type conjecture, uh, we have some partial answer. So, so this this uh, is true if uh, the algebra G is type P. Sorry, this is uh, first condition. The first case and uh, the second case, oh, sorry. So th th this is for any any highest weight. Okay, for any, any. And the second case is when the simple representation belongs to certain category uh, called the category CQ. So So this is uh, to be defined afterwards, but uh, there, there is certain specific category and, uh, and inside this category, we can prove casualistic conjecture. And finally, uh, I do not explain this part uh, today, but uh, I, I, I hope that uh, Oya, Oya san will explain this tomorrow. So when, when uh, the simple representation is uh, so-called re reachable model. And, uh, and 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 these uh, two, two, two and three holds for for any for any g, but uh, there are, there are some restrictions in the highest weight. Okay. And uh, this this terminology reachable comes from certain uh, cluster theory. So actually, in the sense in in a, in a cluster monogamy classification. And, and this each of actually means that uh, under, under cluster monoid categorification, uh, they, they correspond to cluster monomials. Uh, okay. So in type B, uh, the category CQ is equal to C or? No, no, no. Category CQ is much, uh, much smaller than the category C. So, so, so they, they, they are not disjoint, these three conditions. 
and in particular the field of reality modules. Are all known to be reachable. So, so, so we can prove the Kazan risk type conjecture for all the key reflection modules in particular. Ah, 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 okay, cool. So in the remaining time, I would like to explain how to prove these results. And the key fact is the following. So, so, so now uh, let G be uh, of type BCFG. We concentrate on non simple list type. Then uh, there exists, we can prove that there exists some algebra isomorphism. Between the quantum growth and the ring of category C associated to this type of CFG algebra. And uh, quantum growth and weak ring for another simple real algebra, uh, GT, which uh, respect uh, the canonical basis. So they induce, uh, they induce, uh, it, it induces a uh, bijection between the canonical basis. And where uh, G tilde is actually type ADE, simply less real algebra obtained from G uh, by uh, so called unfolding, sorry, unfolding. Okay. So, for, for example, so if we start with uh, type Bn, simple real algebra, then the corresponding uh, real algebra G tilde is type A to N minus one. And if G is type Cn, then the unfolded real algebra is type D N plus one. So, so maybe uh, this kind of corresponding language is Langlands dual to the very known uh, folding of the algebras, but uh, Anyway, in this talk, I would like to call this kind of correspondence uh, by unfolding. And if we start with type F4, then G tilde should be uh, type E6. And uh, from G2, we obtain type D4. And uh, there is a uh, convenient way to memorize this uh, correspondence. So, so let us denote, consider the Dintin diagram of this type of the N the algebra. Then we put some number, in this case, two, 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 and one. So, so this number is the I. So this is a half of the uh, square length of simple root corresponding to this vertex. So, in this case, two, 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 one, and the type C case, we have uh, one, 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 and two. And we interpret uh, these numbers, uh, and, and sorry, so I forgot to mention that this, this number is uh, the expired one or R, and this R is so-called racing number. So R is one for simple less type and two for type BCF and 
three, four type U two. And it, and we interpret these numbers as a a kind of thickness of the limping diagram. And we slice this limping diagram. Uh, so so we we slice some thick part to obtain some uh, thin, simply less limping diagram. So so in this case we we cut here and. Uh, Obtain this linking diagram. So this is type A to N minus one. And from type C N, so we 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 cut it only here. So so we get this type the N plus one linking diagram. And the type A four test to two one one. So it gives a type six linking diagram and from type B two. The thickness is uh, three and one. So this three part uh, divided into three uh, new vertices and it gives a type B four linking diagram. And because this uh, isomorphism respects the canonical basis, and we already know that the canonical basis satisfy uh, canonical basis uh, in simply less type has positive structure constant. So actually, so so the property second positivity property is imme immediate from this the existence of this isomorphism. Okay, now then the uh, next I would like to explain how to construct, the, then, then how to construct this kind of asomorphism. Uh, construction of psi. So first we consider a certain subcategory CZ, which reduces a program, program or category C, C to this uh, subcategory. So, so, first, let us fix a function, epsilon, on the set of linking vertices to uh, and, and and values are to some parity. So we, we associate each vertex a parity. Uh, and this function is essentially unique uh, by this, uh, if we impose this condition. So for each adjacent vertices, I am J, We impose this parity condition. Then uh, we define an infinite set uh, consisting of the pairs i and k, and the i is a dinky node and k is an integer, which satisfy and and we impose that k should uh, have the same parity as epsilon i which is fixed here. Then using this notation, we define the category CZ inside category C uh, to be a cell subcategory. Uh, informally supported on this set IZ. And the the meaning, precise meaning of this supported is the following. So that it, because this is a subcategory, it is only it, it is not to uh, determine the set of simple representations inside here. 
and uh, we import that uh, that the, the and sorry the irreducible representation here is parameterized by monomials in the variable of this form y i q to the power k and uh, we further inform impose that this i k comes from this set i that so this is the definition then then this uh uh okay and then this category is actually closed closed on the tensor product and also by the duality functor d so and and, and it i think uh i'd like to explain why it is stable under this duality so because because the, under the duality functor the uh simple representation goes to simple representations and actually it, it just divides by this simply And this, uh, so, so here, this i, i star is uh, given by uh, the longest element in the bar group in this way. And this a check is a so called the dual cox star number. And by using this formula, so we can prove that this is closed under the duality functor. And actually, this category is it. Uh, has some nice property. So actually, we can regard it as a monoidal skeleton of category C. So in particular, if we consider the growth and decreasing, then we have the following decomposition. Uh, into tensor product of uh, category, uh, golden degree of category CZ uh, with some spectral parameter shift. And here A is some, some <laughs> Shift with rest. So it is enough to consider the, this category CZ to to, 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 so, so to to construct that isomorphism, it is enough to consider this category CZ. Okay. And, and the, I'd like to introduce some some more notation. So let us consider the so any subset in this uh, product of set of dinty node and integers. For each subset J. Uh, we can define the category CJ to be a series of category of category CZ. Which is supported on this set J intersected uh, with this uh, IZ. So the, 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 the meaning of support, uh, support is the same as uh, over there. Then, uh, so th this is just a sales subcategory. So in general, this is not to close under tensor product, but we can prove that 
uh, this category is monoidal subcategory. So closed under and uh, I think the product uh, if uh, J is convex in a suitable sense. And uh, so, so to, to explain what is this convexity, so, so here I uh, prepare some diagram. So this is the case of uh, a type a3, and uh, this uh, vertical uh, asterisk corresponds to the set i, and uh, this uh, horizontal uh, asterisk corresponds to the integer direction, and uh, and this uh, vertices are corresponding to the set uh, iz. Then we 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 we. we uh, we can write some, some arrows like like this, and the the, the competency means that if we take any two two vertices from this set, for, for example, like this and this, then uh, every uh, vertex uh, which is uh, between this vertex and this vertex uh, should be uh, again in this set J. Uh, and between the between mean that so if you consider uh, the directed path from this vertex to this vertex, then so it, it, it passes through certain vertices, and we import that uh, every vertex uh, on this directed path uh, should belong to uh, the set J. So this is the meaning of convexity. And uh, maybe. Uh, Someone noticed that this kind of diagram looks like uh, a slender lighting quiver of certain uh, a slender lighting quiver of uh, derived category quiver representations of type A3, and actually it uh, have some uh, actual meaning in, in this uh, direction. Okay, so, so, so anyway, so with this notation, uh, now I can explain. Uh, some results. So we have the following theorem. So, so first, let us consider the case of type AD. And in this case, this is due to M and this. And the graph. So it, when G is not AD, so they proved the following. So first, let us consider uh, the category C uh, supported on the set I times invert certain interval between this minus R A check and zero. Then this is a monoidal subcategory. We, cons we can consider the corresponding Gothenburg ring. Then this uh, Gothenburg ring of this uh, subcategory is actually asymmetric to a ring. Uh, this, so this is quantized coordinate ring. Uh, of uh, N. So this is much more uh, important subgroup. Uh, of the Lee group G, uh, whose real algebra is our type A, B, E, real algebra G. And uh, under this isomorphism, I, uh, the canonical basis in the quantum growth and decreasing corresponds to the rustic stratonical basis. And secondly, we have the following. So, so now let us consider the quantum growth and decreasing 
of category C Z. And, and recall that, so, so under the duality functor, uh, the parameter, sorry, uh, yeah, here, uh, parameter changes uh, like this. So actually this, uh, this subcategory can be regarded as a, a, a fundamental domain uh, with respect to the action of duality functors. Uh, so, so here we have an action of uh, duality, uh, I, duality functor here. And we can prove that this uh, link is actually isomorphic to the whole algebra of derived category of category of representations of quiver Q. And this quiver Q is of type, has the same type as G, quiver of type G. And here we have uh, the isomorphisms corresponding to the cohomological degree shift. And under this isomorphism, uh, this cohomological degree shift corresponds to the duality functor. And on the left hand side, sorry. LTM is, sorry, LTM is a basis here. So because this, this, is, this is subcategory. So, so, so here we, we, we put that, so LM belongs to uh, this subcategory, CJ, with this, this JJT. And moreover, under this, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention that this, this should be localized quantum group on the green, and this, this uh, localized means that we, we just take, uh, we change the base link, from lower polynomial ring to the ring of relational functions in T. This is the meaning of localization. And so here we have uh, category C, I times this inverse interval, R A check uh, zero. And uh, by the first isomorphism phi, after localizing this, quantum golden deep ring is isomorphic to the localization of this uh, quantum golden ring, which is isomorphic to the uh, positive half of uh, quantized enveloping algebra. And this quantized enveloping algebra is known to be isomorphic to the whole algebra of category of representations. So this is the whole algebra of Abelian category of category of, I mean category of representations. So, so this is very known isomorphism due to Lintel. And this is uh, naturally inside here, this uh, derived whole algebra and this diagram coming. So we can construct uh, this kind, these two uh, kind of isomorphisms. And what we did, in our joint work is a generalization of this construction in type AD. So now let us consider the case of type BCFG. Then we found that, so, so this category still makes sense for type BCFG. And, but here we uh, should change this N uh, to be a much more important subgroup of uh, G tilde. And for that type. And, uh, in type, and uh, for, for the second isomorphism here, we, we just uh, replace here. So, so everything on, on the right hand side, hand side should be of unfolded type. Then, By combining uh, these two theorems, uh, we can construct the isomorphism 
at least uh, for the localized quantum gluton decrease. So T T of C Z and A T of C Z uh, for unfolded type. So we can at least uh, after localizing. Then then we, we can further prove that uh, the chan uh, so sorry, this isomorphism actually respects. Uh, the channel interfaces. Okay. Yes. Racing number, yes. Ah, so this is for, for G, yes. Yes, this number is for, for, for G. Racing number of G and the very set number of G. Yes, yes, these two statements uh, is valid, uh, are valid for subjectivity, sorry. Canonical basis. So we can erase this localized. <laughs> ah, okay. And uh, so we have some remark here. And uh, this construction, in this construction, I used this uh, cat subcategory, small subcategory, but this, this category actually can be generalized. Uh, to so called category CQ. Uh, and here, here, here too. Uh, Q is a uh, so called Q, Q datum. Uh, which I don't explain here, but in type ADE case, this uh, Q datum is uh, equivalent to the datum of Dinkin uh, quiver with height function. So, it, so let, let, let me uh, give an example in the case of type A3 over there. Uh, this is, uh, yes. Yes, abstractly it, uh, it is not related, but uh, uh, we, can, we can organize, uh, in the case of type ADE, we can organize uh, uh, that uh, this Q and this Q that is uh, equal uh, in, in some sense, but uh, Sorry, I, I don't want to have enough time to explain that, but if, if you are interested in I, I would like to explain afterwards, yes. And, and so, so let me see. Uh, okay. So in, in the case of type A, A3, uh, R, equal, R is equal to one and A check is equal to uh, three. So for example, So this is the category uh, C I times the in interval. And this is actually a fundamental domain for the variety functors. So under variety functors, it corresponds to this part and, and this part. And if we, for example, if we take uh, more general Q data, so, so there, there are some other choice for fundamental domain. So for, for example, so we, we can take this part to be a fundamental domain uh, of this duality functors, then then it gives duality functor gives the, this part as an image and uh, and this part as an image of and the, the, this looks like a standard I think we of the abelian category left two. So so in this sense, so we, we can generalize that. So this, this corresponds to that Okay. So, so finally, I'd like to mention uh, that categorification of our isomorphism. 
And uh, actually, <laughs> this categorization is the uh, proof of casualistic type conjecture. Categorifications. So, but, but uh, uh, we do not have, at this moment, we do not have uh, categorification for of our isomorphism uh, Psi for, for every type. But uh, at least when our real algebra G is equal to, uh, uh, so, sorry, our real algebra G is of type Pn and uh, G tilde is equal to, Uh, SL to N, then our isomorphism psi specialized at T equal one is categorified. Categorified by a so called generalized Schubert YP. So this is due to uh, Van Kashwar team. And O. So, so, so in particular, uh, as a particular case of this generalized Shaw wide variety, they constructed a functor. Uh, sorry. Yes from the category of certain category of representations of affine heti algebra of uh, GL. So, so this is uh, a certain category. And from this category, they constructed a functor from a functor into category CZ for type B M. And so, so this is KK. Actually, KKO. And on the other hand, uh, it is well known that uh, there exists a, a quantum affine show wide variety functor. So, in this case, this value is at uh, the category CZ for uh, G tilde. And uh, we can prove that under this uh, correspondence, the simple representations uh, bijectively correspond. So, so, so it induces a bijection. So then, then by using this fact and uh, the fact that the casualistic type conjecture is valid for simply lesser type, uh, we can prove that uh, casualistic type conjecture uh, for type B uh, is true. So we can prove this. And for category C2, we also ha have a categorification. Uh, yes. So this psi between the group and the green of category C2 and the quantized uh, coordinate ring like this. So, so this is also categorified. After, after specializing is also categorified. By uh, show wide variety, the generalized show wide variety factor. So in this case, we can make this as a categorical equivalence between category C2 and the representations of uh, one of the algebra of uh, type G. Ah, sorry, G tilde. So we can also prove that uh, casualistic type conjecture was true for category CQ by using this. Okay, I stop here. Thank you very much and happy birthday to Okado Sensei. Thank you very much. So are there any questions or comments on this talk?
So to me, your uh, folding is more, I, I want to think of it more actually as twisted affine type to the corresponding untwisted. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah, uh, well, because they're simply lays no difference, but uh, can, can you, do, do you have like an explanation of your results in terms of like the corresponding twisted affine twisted. type representations? Uh -huh. Yes, so, so, but, so by using sh this kind of generalized show wide variety, uh, it is observed that there is a relationship between twisted type ADE uh, category CQ and the untwisted, corresponding untwisted category CQ. But uh, so this is at the classical gota mickling level. So there is an isomorphism. But uh, the problem is that there is no definition of quantum gotham ring for twisted quantum of algebra at this moment. So if we have uh, this definition of quantum gotham ring for twisted quantum of algebra, maybe it was uh, it is worth considering this kind of thing. But uh, at this moment, I, I, I don't know. And from this, you don't necessarily have a good idea about what that uh, should be. From your results, yeah, yeah, yeah. But because, because the, at the classical level, they they, they correspond. So, so maybe we can we we may expect to the uh, there there exists some isomorphism of quantum gota quantum gota degrees between twisted and untwisted type, but but uh, but. Uh, but there, there, there is no definition at this moment, so uh, I cannot say anything. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So are there any questions or comments? But for CN, there is also a folding with respect to A to N. Sorry? For type CN? For type CN, yes, uh, you, you can also make four, so, so four this, this is on, on, only for only when this this case. So for for types uh, type CN, uh, we cannot find at this moment we cannot find a construction of this show wide variety functor, or we do not find a categorification. Ah, so you have no categorification for folding CN with A to N, yeah. So what because. Uh, we can fold CN with A to N also. Mm -hmm. Not the N, but A to N. Yes. So there is uh, also folding. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, I think I think yes, this it it, it is also the folding. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, we do not uh, we, we do not know any relationship between uh, quantum group and uh, sorry, quantum group algebras. Of type C and then type A2 and minus one. Not, not minus one, A2 and even. A2 and even? Yeah. Uh huh. Even, not odd. Not odd human. I'm not sure if there exists uh, embedding or something like that in that case. Quantum, quantum of energy plus. Okay. And small questions, sir. Then you consider this in this theorem of uh, Hernandez Leclerc, uh, there's a simple model, LTM. So you consider Q character. So that's Q character, it would be not the Q character in the original category. Sorry, uh, so, so, so in this case, so because you consider isomorphism with uh, this is AT of uh, uh, N. So uh, then you compute Q character of LTM. So it would be uh, because you restrict your to interval, mm -hmm. so it would be not character with respect to your uh, ring. It would be a truncated character. So so, 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 so you are talking about uh, two characters of different types? Yes, so this because you, you, you say that there is a barfist between this category which you define it on just uh, uh, interval, like fundamental part. Yes, yes. So therefore, you use only variables from this fundamental part. Uh, yes, so 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 to, to, to make this isomorphism, we only use some truncated two characters. Truncated. Yes, because it's not 
really few characters which you have from the beginning. Yes, it is not. Uh, yes, so so we, this this is really truncated to. So we use truncated to characters. Uh, if you at the end of the day, uh, that you will get answer correctly. So you use uh, then you use just interval. So you have truncated character. Mm -hmm. Yes. So therefore, for example, some character will be just the only variable instead of to, to be some Laurent polynomial. Yes, yes, exactly, yes. Maybe I will ask you about it. Yeah, okay, maybe we can discuss later, yes. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments? So could you give an um, application of this uh, assumption? Like uh, the you know, explicit form, explicit form of the Q character. Yes, I, I expect that the Oyasan will explain it uh, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We can we can describe the explicit form of, the, of this uh, isomorphism in terms of the Q characters. Are there any questions or comments? If not, let's thank the speaker.